Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is I, Bandit Wendy, your Saturday vlogger. How are you? Today's topic, it's a good one. Uh, today's topic is making peace with the scale. Have you? How did you? And what type of scale do you use? So, I'm going to start off by saying that the way I used to make peace with the scale was I just didn't stand on it before weight loss surgery. Uh, and then when I did, I was always a bit shocked by how much weight I'd gained. Uh, and then I wouldn't step on it again for a while. And I made the conscious decision uh, when I decided to have weight loss surgery that the scale was going to have to be in my game. You know, the scale does not lie. Uh, and yes, it's only one measurement of your progress and of your success, but it matters. It absolutely matters. So I made peace with the scale when I decided to have weight loss surgery. And I've continued to maintain that peace with the scale uh, pretty much, for the most part, four years and two months almost post-op, lap band. Um, been at my goal weight since July of 2010. Had my surgery March of 2009. And I pretty much weigh every day. And I took it on as a science project, really. I know based on my calorie consumption, my protein consumption, my water consumption, my fitness activity, um, what that scale is going to do for the most part. And the additional pieces of the science project were if I had foods that I never really counted sodium, but I know if I eat food with more salt in it, that impacted the scale. And also alcohol. I don't know if it's because of the simple carbs that are in uh, alcohol uh, that retain water. Also, my period being a lady, didn't really much make much impact uh, until I got to my, about five pounds to my goal weight, and then I started to see the impact on the scale at that point. It took me 68, 68 weeks to lose all my weight, and during that 68 weeks, there were 11 weeks that that scale stayed the same, uh, or went up, did not go down, basically. Um, so, and I was aware of those weeks, and I evaluated all those metrics that I mentioned and knew where I had to make some changes for, in order for the scale to move the following week. So, those are the pieces of how I have maintained the piece and why that works for me. Um, I never want to fear the scale again. For me, fearing the scale means I'm not doing something right. And again, I consciously made the decision to give it my very best effort to do all I could to do right. Um, paid $15,000 for my weight loss surgery, so it matters to me. Um, got some skin in the game, you know, De Niro, De Niro. Um, what kind of scale do I use? Well, I started out the journey with a Taylor scale from Target. And I've had that same scale. Um, and triplicate. I have three of those Taylor scales. The first one I just threw away last weekend. Um, and so in four years, I bought three Taylor scales. Uh, even when they, you know, even when you change the battery, yeah, I don't know, it didn't work the same. Uh, but they've always been fairly accurate. And uh, my husband's done tests with them to make sure their accuracy. Um, but last weekend, when I tossed the first Taylor, my goal weight Taylor, my original weight loss surgery Taylor, uh, I got a Withings at the Apple store. And I'm still in the process of getting it all set up to work correctly. But it's digital, it's Bluetooth, it's wireless, uploads to my phone, uh, it tracks all kinds of stuff. So, just for fun, really, you know? But I still stand on that scale. And my body transforms, even at this point. Um, 
one time a week matters. Every Monday, which is my surgery day, it was a Monday, is my weekly weigh-in. And that's the only weight that technically matters each week. It's the only one I write down. Uh, and pretty much, you know, I can see a three pound fluctuation up or down. Uh, down, nobody cares, right? Uh, up, it matters. And I can get those three pounds off with water, in increasing my water, uh, taking a poop, um, or sweating, you know, and a combination of those three things, 24 hours, I can lose three pounds, pretty much. So, um, I hope that answers the question for y'all. I'm here in Cancun uh, on vacation and I um, thought it'd be a good place to make the video. Uh, so if I can, I'll turn you around and let you see some of it. You see that? I hope so. Anyway, thanks for watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Words. Have a great one. Bye.